Hi guys, it's Steph. Just gonna start this video off with, yeah, I have lost my voice a little bit. There was a lot of screaming and singing over this past weekend and it took a toll. So as I feel like most of you probably know, cause I've been posting about it nonstop, I went to SurvivalCon this past weekend. And for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a convention for fans of the show, The 100 and it celebrates the fans, it celebrates the cast members and it's just kind of a really good place for people to come together that have a mutual love for something, a mutual love for a group of people and just spend an amazing three days together. For me this was my first ever convention so I was like equal parts nervous and excited when I got there on the first day on the Friday with my friend Jade. I was just shaking, I just couldn't calm down, I was so excited but also so nervous because it's like the first time I'm actually meeting people that have had a really big impact on my life with the actors and also getting to meet a bunch of friends that I've known online and haven't been able to meet in person because they live in other countries or they just live far away in England. So I was, yeah, just a big ball of nerves for ages. And basically the weekend was just amazing. We started with the opening ceremony on the Friday, which just the moment the ladies stepped out on stage, I just burst into tears. It was unbelievable. I just couldn't believe that they were like a few steps away from me on this stage. And we had the meet and greet, which was insane. And we got to sit at a table and chat to all of them one by one. And I got to show some of them my Trigella's Lane tattoo. I showed Deechin, who played Anya, and I showed Lindsay, who plays Raven. And they both really, really liked it. Then the weekend just consisted of like panel sessions, like Q and A. So we got to get up and ask questions. And boy, did I ask a lot of questions. It was amazing though, I wanted to capitalize on it because it's not every day I'm gonna have the chance to get up and ask some of my favourite actresses to anything I want to ask them really. So I asked about Harry Potter houses. I asked about, you know, what their characters would be like if they were in an AU. Lindsay and Nadia want to play a lesbian couple in a movie. Then we had the photo ops, which was just incredible. I got hugs from all of them before my pictures and I got some really awesome photos. I'm going to show you guys because what they signed on the photos was really cool as well. So this is my Deechin and Erica photo, which is like super cute. Deechin wrote much love and then I got her to write Egon play Noste Old On because, you know, I figured she's, she was Anya. She got to write a ground of phrase, which means a lot to me because it ties into my own tattoo. So that was awesome. And then Erica, um, for those of you that don't know, was in The L Word for a little while, which was awesome because I got to meet an actress who was in two of my favorite shows. And there is a scene when she's having an intimate lady loving scene. We were talking about it and she said that it was really weird because the director was like, yeah, now just go suck a tit. And we thought it was really funny. And she said to me, do you want me to write something like related to the L word on this autograph? And I said, yes, please. So she literally wrote Steph, go suck a tit. So that's my 2017 inspirational quote from Erica. Thank you very much. <laughs> Then I had my photo op with Tasia and Rhiannon, who again, absolute fucking sweethearts. I can't deal with how nice this whole cast are. And then uh, Tasia, again, we had a bit of an inside joke because I asked her at one of the panels if Echo lived in like this day and age, what her like last name would be and what she'd be into and stuff like that. And uh, Tasia said that she thinks her name would be Echo, Echo, Echo. So first name Echo, middle name Echo, last name Echo. <laughs> and that was funny. So I got her, to, she wrote Steph, much love from Echo, Echo, Echo. <laughs> Then it came to the really emotional ones that made me cry. First of all, I had Nadia who, well, I mean, this is my photo with Nadia and Lindsay, who got them together. And she is a complete babe because she said a lot of things during her panel that really resonated with me and with a lot of people about dealing with bullying and people just not being nice to her and the fact that she still deals with these feelings today, like feelings of discomfort and being unsure of herself. And to see someone so beautiful and so strong admit that they still deal with things like that was so reaffirming 
and it was great to know that like it's not just us you know even they experience it so i asked her to write you're not alone on here which she did up there but then she continued and she wrote you're very very special and then to my unexpected delight she then flipped it over and wrote me a whole thing on the back which i'll read to you guys she did this all by herself i didn't ask her to and she said i need you to stay as beautiful and strong as you are we all need you spread the love you're inspiring i'm gonna cry again <laughs> Um, you're inspiring. All my love, always with you, yours, Nadia. So, oh my God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> that really meant a lot to me. Um, that was incredible. That really just made my day. So that one happened yesterday and so did the Lindsay one. So yesterday was a very emotional day. And then Lindsay's uh, again, I cried a whole bunch and um, it was hashtag cry crew. And there's the photo again, super cute. Hashtag cry crew, because literally everybody cried this weekend. And I thanked her again for being so honest during her panel and sharing her stories about her experiences with mental illness and suicide. And again, that resonated with me and a lot of people. And um, the fact that she was so honest and so brave and she actually admitted that she had been going through a bit of a hard time recently as well. And that this weekend kind of helped her a lot and helped her feel happy as well, which was incredible because that's kind of, that's what they did for us. It's unfathomable to think that we could do the same for them, you know? So I, I thanked her for sharing her story with us and um, she said, thank you for sharing you with me. And then she came around the table and gave me a hug. I got a hug from her and Nadia during the autograph session. So that was like, I really needed that. And she held my face in her hands and she said to me, that I was special and that I was brave. It was incredible. I'm just, um, I'm, it's gonna just be literally crying about this for weeks and I'm not even exaggerating. And then she did something super, super nice for me in that I asked her to write something down uh, for me so I could get it tattooed on me in her handwriting, which was amazing. Um, so it's this. It says we all have battle scars. It's a Raven Reyes quote from the show and it means a lot to me and she wrote it down for me and I said I was going to get it tattooed which is awesome. So we had the photo sessions that were like so much fun and I got to hug everyone and then we had the autograph sessions that were very emotional and yeah it was incredible. And then every night we had um, the parties which was awesome because then I got to spend time with my friends. <laughs> friends I knew before, loads of new friends that I made. Everyone was so just genuinely lovely. I didn't meet one single mean or rude person at this con. Everyone was super nice. I love how quickly people just clicked and connected. No one was having an issue with talking to someone because they were new. People were very happy to um, just talk to anyone really and it was awesome. It was just filled with so many laughs. It was so much fun bumped into a few of the actors in the hallway. So I got to see Tasia again on the last night and um, we were just chatting out in the hallway and I said hi to her and she like grabbed my hands and looked at me and she was like, you are so cool. And I was like, what? And she, cause I was wearing a vest top at the time. She was like, yeah, with like your hat and your vest, like you look awesome. And I was like, this is coming from you, you know? And then cause I was wearing a vest, she could kind of see a bit of my trig tattoo. And she was like, she went, what is that? And she pulled the vest to the side and she saw that it's, you know, from the show. And she went, no way. And I was like, yes way. Like, yeah, I have a tattoo from your show, which was awesome. She seemed to really like that. And then she was talking about her name and how it used to be double barreled and then she just changed it to Tellers. She said, yeah, I think I want my children to, you know, have the name Tellers. And I piped up, could I have the name Tellers if I marry you? And she said, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Confirmed, I'm gonna marry Tassia Tellers, 2017. <laughs> and then she gave me a hug goodbye and a kiss on the cheek, which was amazing before she left. And then on the last party of um, the third night, uh, Deechen actually rocked up about five minutes before it ended. And she had her Anya Grounder makeup on, which was amazing. She looked so badass and she danced with us at Don't Stop Believing. And I got a hug from her before she left the dance floor as well. And it was just like, honestly, it's just a weekend so full of love and so full of happiness and I know I said like everybody cried but it was like happy tears and 
you know, we weren't crying because we were sad. We were crying because we get to meet these people that made a really big impact on our lives and stuff. For fuck's sake. I'm, I can't talk about it without crying. Like, am I the, is this just me or is it anyone else? Because this is a serious problem. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to tell anyone about this. I think it's probably good that I'm doing a video because I can edit this. It was honestly so amazing. I got to ask them so many fun questions. We had such a laugh at all the panels. Rhiannon and I had a height contest too. So I, I asked her if we could measure up against each other because she's kind of small too. And turns out she's a tad bit taller than me without her heels on. And then she gave me a hug after that as well. the beginning of the Lindsay and Erica panel, I just basically said to them, like, you guys keep making me cry all weekend. And Erica jumped up out of her seat and ran down to give me a hug. And then Lindsay called me up on the stage for a hug as well. They are the best huggers ever. And then during one of the other panels, Nadia was using my friend Fletcher's phone to do the Pottermore house quiz, because <laughs> we wanted to know what house she's in. And um, she noticed that she was his like lock screen and she was like really happy about it. So I showed her mine, because she's also on my phone. She was like, oh my God, come here. And she gave me a big hug. She smells amazing, by the way. And then during that panel, after I did the height contest with Rhiannon, a couple of people were sat on the stage and I asked if I could go up and sit with them too. And they said yes. So I got to sit on the floor next to them for the rest of the panel. And then I got another hug from Nadia after that, which was just incredible. Her hugs are like, I didn't know hugs could make me want to cry because they were so warm and loving. And I feel like I'm forgetting loads. Like there was so much happened, so many beautiful, like small moments and big moments and everything in between. I got to dance with so many friends that I never thought I was going to get to even meet, let alone, you know, party with and have a great time. Every night was super fun, you know, and in, up until 3, 4, 5 a.m. in hotel rooms, drinking and talking about stuff. And Honestly, just, I don't think it's even an exaggeration to say best weekend of my life. It was so full of love and happiness and joy and everyone was wonderful. And the people who planned it were great too, like the event staff people, it was just like, it was really good. Oh, and the hotel was fucking beautiful too. I just wanted to share this. I don't know if people are gonna find this interesting or I feel like people from the con will kind of understand what I'm saying. And um, maybe this will inspire people that didn't go to get a ticket for next year. I've already got mine. <laughs> Survival 3 is in February next year and I'm already going. I've got my ticket and the hotel's been booked. So I'm going with my friend Jade again and I'm super fucking pumped. And um, I'm really hoping I get to see a bunch of my friends there again. I'm hoping some of the same actresses go because they were so good. I just wanted to share this with you guys. It was a super amazing experience. I'm so happy right now. I'm just gonna cherish these memories for the rest of my life. If you guys wanna see like all posts and pictures and stuff about it, I've started a tag on my Tumblr. It's just survival con log. So if you go on my Tumblr and I mean, it's all basically there anyway. I haven't really been uh, vlogging about anything else for the weekend. But yeah, it's all under there and it's all over my Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. I feel like everyone's sick of it, but I'm just really, really happy. And I didn't actually think I was ever gonna get the chance to do something like this, especially to meet people that have had such a big impact on me and have made me feel so special and happy. So yeah, it was, it was incredible. I'm getting emotional again, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be nice to just talk about my experiences and, you know, relive all the happy memories. Anyone who went to the con, share this around. Spread the love. Hashtag cry crew. I hope you guys are having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye. And had the perseverance. You are amazing! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Dollar.